Assalamu alaikum. This is Abdurrahman, a student of King Faisal University. We are in part 9 of a series of lessons on wound form using C-sharp. In this lesson, we will discuss menu controls. We need the Visual Studio Image Library from Microsoft. You can search on your browser for Visual Studio 2017 Image Library .zip, or you can also visit this site. Click the download button, check Visual Studio 2017 Image Library .zip, and click the next button. Unzip the downloaded file, open the folder and unzip another zip file. The second unzip might take a while, just be patient. And last, make sure you remember where you unzip the file as we will need it later. In our first activity, we will create a WinForm text editor app that has a rich text box for the text and menu strip with menu items of new, open, save as and exit. We will assign images, shortcuts and shortcut keys for each menu item. Let's create a new project and name it WF9 underscore 1. Drag a rich text box and change its duck property to fill. You can also use its smart tag on top right. Drag menu strip control from menus and toolbars. Type ampersand file. The ampersand assigns a shortcut for file. It means that instead of clicking file, you can also press Alt F to activate it. Below file menu item, add menu sub items, new, open and save as with ampersand at the beginning. Add a horizontal by entering minus or dash in the item. Add menu sub item exit with ampersand before x. Let's add images starting with the new. Make sure you remember the location of the unzipped Visual Studio 2017 image library. Select a new menu item. I click its image property. Click import. Browse to the folders and look for a new file. Click Open, then OK. Select Open Menu Item, click Image, Import, Browse and look for Open Folder. Click Open, then OK. Select Save as Menu Item, click Image, Import, Browse and look for save as. Click open then OK. Let's add shortcuts for all menu items. Select new. Look for shortcut keys property and check control and select letter N. Select open in its shortcut keys, set Ctrl plus O. Select Save As, shortcut keys and set Ctrl plus S. Select Exit, shortcut keys and set Ctrl plus X. We are ready to code. Double click New Menu Item. All we need here is to reset the text of rich text box 1. Go back to the designer. We will need open file dialog and save file dialog. So drag both controls to our form. Double click open menu item. We need to show open file dialog and if the user clicked OK. 
our rich text box one text property should contain all the text inside file selected. Go back to the designer, double click save as menu item. We need to show save file dialog and if the user click OK. Our rich text box one's text property should be saved to a file specified by the user. Go back to the designer, double click exit menu item. All we need here is the statement to exit the application. Start it. Enter texts in different lines. Save it. Click File in New. The rich text box is empty again. Click File Open and find the file you saved a while ago. Click OK. Well done. For our next activity. We will modify our project by adding a tool strip with four items for new, open, save as, and exit. Call the previous related methods for their events. First, change the rich text box one's dot property to bottom to provide a space for our tool strip. Drag a tool strip control. Add three buttons and a label for exit. It change the images of three buttons to represent new, open, and save as. It change the labels text property to exit. Double click new button and call new tool strip menu item click method. Double click open button and call open tool strip menu item click method. Double click save as button and call save tool strip menu item click method. Double click exit label and call exit tool strip menu item click method. Start and test it. Congratulations! For your challenge, modify our project by adding another menu option along file called About. When you click, a message box should appear stating Text Editor version 1.0. We will have a better version of Text Editor app in lesson 13, so please visit that too. In our next lesson, we will discuss text to speech using speech synthesizer. Thank you for joining me in this channel.